we're looking to cooperate on the bigger uh, issues like the radio therapy unit in Altna Galvin to serve the people of Donegal and Sligo. And that's a big investment on our part, it's 19 million, if memory serves me correct. But we're very interested in looking at the more day-to-day -day pragmatic elements of things that can improve health services for people both sides of the border. I mean, there's Craig Avon Hospital and how it might serve the people of Monaghan. There's Daisy Hill and Dundalk. Uh, but there's also, even in the areas of primary care, where we locate primary care centres and how some maybe of our GPs are a bit isolated from the co-ops on our side of the border, but very near large population centres on the north. And then there's the whole area of the air ambulance service. And I, I suppose I didn't mention that earlier, but I mean, that's a first as well, to have uh, an, air medical, an aeromedical service for the, for the west of the country. So I think we both have a very clear determination to improve the health of people both sides of the border and to do so in a way uh, that will have a real impact on people in a very, very short period of time. The whole issue of mental health is very important to this government, to the Taoiseach in particular and myself. We want to see all our primary care facilities have a mental health facility. We want mental illness treated in the same way and mental health issues as any, any other health issue. We're deeply concerned about the rise in, in the incidence of suicide and we've put together a multidisciplinary team with a multifaceted approach to try and address this. This is going to reorganise hospitals in a major way for the first time since the foundation of the state. And people can see the benefit of this from what's happened in Galway where Bill Maher went in in January 2012 to take over the running of Galway University Hospital, Merlin Park, Roscommon and Port Young Glen Ballinasloe. When he arrived there, there would have been 9,901 people who would be waiting nine months or longer for their inpatient treatment. By September, that figure was zero. And Roscommon Hospital, that hospital is now busier than it ever was, with more footfall, more patients going through there and more services there, but services that are safe. Services like plastic surgery, rheumatology, a sleep apnea clinic, and we're making great progress on the endoscopy unit up there. And there's plans also for it to be the stroke centre for the West as part of a hub and spoke system with the hub here in Dublin. So it just demonstrates again how a hospital group can deliver for all the hospitals, big and small. I'll say it straight. I'm as committed now as I ever was to this job. I'm more determined than I ever was. But most importantly, I'm more convinced than ever before that we're going to succeed because of the new leadership that has arisen in the HSE, in the department, in the VHI. But most importantly, on the front line, the excellent men and women delivering care in our health service. That's our future, and it's good.